Hi guys. It is a fine summer evening finally. Here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. Alright, we've been through our flash floods, our tornadoes. Somehow we missed hailstorms here at Bugs in a Jar Farm the past few nights, but Peace has returned to the collapse at Bugs in a Jar Farm here on uh, this lovely now, it is a Wednesday evening, it is July 14th, 2021, and uh, we actually have a, an alert listener from South Africa who was kind enough to send me uh, this story from the Durban some newspaper in Durban uh, <clears throat> and then today <clears throat> we have a story right here from Reuters about Mad Max ramping up in South Africa so anyone who wants to know what uh, a neighborhood in your city will look like soon this is I guess Durban South Africa what it looks like this week here uh let's see how can you can you guys see this is durban south africa makes me want to hop on a plane hop on a plane and head to mad max central so anybody who does not understand that mad max is alive and well um so what is time at the time of this writing, which was two days ago, the riots engulfing Durban and other towns, uh, and, and also present in parts of Galtang in the Eastern Cape, have the kind of scale that makes definitive statements unwise. Yes. Uh, the full consequences of the decision to send in the army made just as this article went to press are not yet clear but one thing is clear Durban has been engulfed by food riots New Frame oh, this is a website called New Frame spoke to grassroots activists across the city on July and 11th and 12th and without exception every one of them said the riots are about Food, not about Jacob Zuma, who was the um, oh Jay. What happened to Zuma? Good Lord, I, I'm sorry. I, I get all of these uh, sub-Saharan African dictators uh, mixed up. I don't know. Was he assassinated? Was he kicked out of office? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Apparently, what happened to Jacob Zuma? The riots, without exception, every person said the riots going on in South Africa are about food. It is food shops that have been consistently targeted and food that has been appropriated, otherwise known as stolen, at a massive scale. Of course, the spark was lit by the displays of impunity and acts of disruption and arson carried out by Zuma supporters, but this was just the spark of the tinder with mass impoverishment, unemployment, and hunger. The only surprise is that this did not happen earlier. <clears throat> the scale of the riots is not the only new development. The protests that have regularly been organized from shack settlements across the country since 2004 and in Durban since 2005 have generally taken the form of road blockades of disruption rather than appropriation. Now there is a popular appropriation of food on an extraordinary scale. Um, that's, this goes on and here's another picture of life in South Africa this week. Anyone who does not understand 
what this man is talking about. This is the picture of what a food riot looks like outside of a supermarket, I guess as you could call this, a South African supermarket. This picture was taken three days ago, guys. Uh, don't think you will find this picture on the mainstream media, although Reuters videos uh, has one today, which we'll get to that article, see how the mainstream media is playing this. So let's skip ahead. Uh, to targeting supermarkets. Uh, <clears throat> they're just, you know, they're, uh, of course, guys, everyone is pointing fingers. It's just like in this country and, and anywhere else trying to get to the truth of what is going on here uh, keep it simple stupid it's about food people are starving uh, all of this political stuff and I've had this rant before I can't remember the documentary uh, that I about some prison riot where I was talking about the same thing that there, there, there's a, a precious few people who give a damn uh, about the political situation and all of this, they start the spark. Okay, a few of these political ideologues start the spark of whatever the revolution is, and then Mad Max ensues, and all of the, you know, the just the uh, lowest common denominator, whatever you want to call them, just join in the fray. And this is exactly what is happening, uh, according to this article, in uh, in New Frame. I know nothing about the political stance of New Frame. Uh, they are just, uh, but you know, they talk about all of the supposed politics behind this. But there is a very clear logic at play. A logic that must be acknowledged. People are hungry. They have been hungry for a very long time. The state has failed them, and they are now appropriating food on a massive scale. I don't know why they keep using this word appropriating. Maybe the word stealing in, in South African English is just appropriating. Uh, they're not appropriating, they're stealing, they're smashing supermarkets. The, the mob is out smashing uh, into supermarkets and carrying as much food as they can. Uh, although other buildings have been attacked and a mosque burnt in circumstances that are not yet clear, the primary target of the riots so far is supermarkets. There is an implicit logic to this. In South America, the food system is overwhelmingly controlled by supermarkets. And when most people do access some money, most of that goes into the supermarkets. Yes. They are also, of course, sites of a vast accumulation of wealth by elites. It is not just the trajectory of the riots going on out there as I'm talking and what the deployment of the army to fight the rioters will mean that cannot yet be determined. It is also their aftermath. Many grassroots activists have expressed concern about how the destruction under, underway may affect their access to food in the coming days and the jobs of people who depend on the supermarket system. There is deep concern about escalating violence and disgust at the political and personal opportunism that has been present. Uh, 
It is also possible that food riots on this scale and intensity may force a reckoning with the fact that our society is not just unspeakably unjust, it is also simply not viable. And uh, that is the report directly from South Africa. So how is Reuters News uh, being playing this story on, uh, on the mainstream media? Surprisingly, uh, fairly honestly there, they don't have quite the uh, shocking photos. All right, take it away, Reuters News. Let the mainstream media explain this to you. South Africa unrest hits farming, threatens food supply. This is coming out of Johannesburg instead of Durban. South African farmers have been hit by days of unrest and looting as trucks carrying produce are prevented from delivering food to markets threatening food supplies. Do you think so? Crowds this week have clashed with police and ransacked shopping malls with dozens reported killed as grievances unleashed by last week's jailing of former President Jacob Zuma boiled over to the worst violence in South Africa in years. Some of the country's major highways have now been closed off. Um, this is Kristen Von Der Reed, ex executive director at the country's main agricultural body. Quote, farmers have already had major losses because they cannot get their products to local markets and to shops. Uh, one of Agrister's farmers has already reported the loss of 3 million rand, otherwise known as over $205,000 of perishable produce that could not be transported. Uh, the sugar cane deliveries have been completely uh, sugar cane I don't know uh, how important is it to get your sugar to market from a uh, food riot point of view. Citrus growers uh, said citrus exports have been halted with trucks unable to use the main arterial roads where more than half of the citrus is exported. I did not know this till this second, guys. South Africa is the world's second largest exporter of fresh citrus after who do you think the world's biggest exporter of fresh citrus on this planet is? I had no idea. It is Spain. Spain is the number one exporter of fresh citrus. South Africa coming in number two, although no citrus is being exported from South Africa. Um, President Cyril Ramfosa warned on Monday that disruption to supply chains could lead to food and medicine shortages in the coming weeks. Um, in some areas, where supermarkets remain closed, panic was setting in over food supplies, said Neil Zulu, a resident of Piermersburg, quote, all the shops are closed. We are going to run out of bread soon. So how is the independent spinning this story. Vigilantes take to South Africa's streets as death toll from looting and violence rises to 72. 72 people have died in the looting and violence. We have gangs of vigilantes. Uh, you would not like this gang of vigilantes 
coming towards you if you owned a food truck. Uh, I assure you, uh, South Africans took the law into their own hands on Wednesday as deadly violence which has seen more than 70 people killed in widespread looting across the country continued. This is today. Uh, and signs of a growing public backlash, anxious and scared residents in some areas have armed themselves as vigilantes to form roadblocks despite the presence of armed police and soldiers on the streets. Good Lord. Uh, other residents blocked entrances to malls and turned suspected rioters over to the police in an attempt to stem the violence now gripping the country. Uh, we have taxi operators arming themselves, firing bullets into the air to scare off looters. Citizens armed with guns, many from South Africa's white minority, blocked off streets to prevent further plundering in Durban. Yeah, some rich Durban residents chartered small planes and helicopters to get the hell out of Dodge, I bet uh, they are uh, as many as 72 people have been killed in violence and rioting, rioting in South Africa. More than 1,200 people have been arrested. Looters have ransacked shops and businesses and this is some good news, have stopped a refinery from working on Wednesday. Uh, blocked roads, disrupting major supply chains. Uh, footage even emerged of people rushing to save a toddler trapped in a department store which had been looted and then set on fire. President Cyril Arampafosa has called the violence unprecedented. Yes. This is uh, one person interview. Quote, this time is bad. We aren't safe to walk around the streets. Looters are even looting from each other. Yes. Anyway, then again, they start sounding like that other place talking about it is not about Zuma, it is about poverty. I grabbed things I could take, like cold drinks and some paint. I guess the real reason is because we actually have nothing. Yep, yep, yep. This goes on and on and on. Anyway, that is the chronicle of the collapse from uh, South Africa. There's South African authorities are monitoring all social media as riots and looting grip the country. Let's get one more picture of the view from South Africa. I could go on and on with this, guys. Uh, there you go. Let's close with one more photo of why I do not live in South Africa. A picture says a thousand words. Anyway, get out there and enjoy looting your own local supermarket while you still can because uh, there won't be anything worth looting 
give it 72 hours, block enough of those interstate highways for 72 hours, and there will be nothing left to loot. And all of this talk about food has made me hungry, and I have a dead pig in a crock pot with my name on it. I gotta go say hello to a dead pig. Bye, guys. You say, Pop, I want some of that dead pig in the crock pot like that.